a high-stakes poker game in the heart of Las Vegas. The players are all titans of industry, their faces expressionless masks of poker faces. The air is thick with tension, palpable enough to slice with a knife. Suddenly, one of the players speaks. He's a renowned sports tycoon, known for his ruthless business acumen and his lavish lifestyle. But tonight, he's just another player at the table. I have a confession to make, he says, his voice cold and emotionless. I'm dying. The other players freeze, their eyes wide with shock. And before I go, the tycoon continues, I want to clear my conscience. He leans forward, his gaze sweeping across the table. I'm responsible for a series of unsolved homicides. The room erupts in chaos. Players shout and curse, accusing each other of being accomplices. But the tycoon remains calm, his face devoid of any expression. I know what you're thinking, he says, that I'm trying to frame one of you, but I'm not. I'm just telling the truth. He pauses, savoring the moment. The police have never been able to catch me, he says. But now I'm giving them everything they need to solve the case. He reaches into his jacket pocket and pulls out a USB drive. This contains all the evidence, he says. Names, dates, locations, everything. He tosses the drive onto the table. Take it, he says. It's yours. The players stare at the drive in disbelief. No one knows what to do. Finally, one of the players, a casino mogul, steps forward. He picks up the drive and examines it closely. This is real, he says. It's got everything. He turns to the tycoon. Why are you doing this, he asks. The tycoon shrugs. I told you, he says. I'm clearing my conscience. He stands up and walks to the door. Goodbye, he says. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. He exits the room, leaving the other players stunned and silent.